10 o'clock Feeding for the guap I be beaming, losing balance Yo bitch falling on my yacht They like Whoa. Smell like genius, that's my Elon Musk 10 o'clock, and it's PM Be impatient with my buzz Yeah, you can't rock with us I can't rock for this I don't cap with them I see fake on them The ice look fake on them Ah! Everyone in my household right now has a summer cold, so we are combating this by making sure that our smoothie is packed with all the nutrients that they need. So the first thing that I wanted to make sure I added to our smoothie today was some fresh ginger. Ginger is great for any kind of congestion. It's a great anti-inflammatory as well as antibacterial. So I added fresh ginger. If you have a Vitamix or any kind of stronger, like a Nutribullet, any kind of blender that's like a high-powered blender, this is great to add to any of your smoothie recipes, but if I ha you have just like a regular blender, the ginger might not completely blend through. And then I had tons of vitamin C rich fruits. I had mango, oranges, pineapple, which pineapple is great for congestion as well. And then to give their immune system another good boost, I wanted to add in some good greens. So I added in some matcha, some moringa, and I also added in some flax. And I just added water and pineapple juice i got to drink on them don't follow me uh, i don't want my cheese uh, money be the villain i'm still gobbling on my green they're like oh yeah lock you like a beaver yellow fellow he just need a beamer or a chick like Rita. she won't get wild tell the she bust it down showing me she with a bounce i mean she got me like wow knowing she give me a smile walk on a square like a towel i gotta wrap it up now meet her at eight i'm dropping them out they just won't get closer to me, getting colder to me. Good morning and welcome to the channel. I figured yeah, I would do my yeah. intro. Yeah. Hold on, she wants to say hi to you. Ready? Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, I figured I would do my intro after my workout because I felt like I'd be more like peppy and vibey since I got my good workout endorphins. Um, I have made a green smoothie for all the kids for breakfast and I did a fasted... Um, <laughs> I did a fasted workout, so I did Insanity Max 30. I did the, hold on, hold on. I did the um, Tabata Power. So it's like 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and it's a 30 minute workout. It's killer. I highly recommend any of the Beach Body On Demand workouts because they kind of fit for anybody and you can do them at home. So I did that and I did not drink my smoothie yet because, like I said, I was doing my workout fasted. So I just went ahead and put my smoothie in a travel mug and I'm going to take that with me. We are going to go to my parents to the pool today. Um, I'm, I'm going to pack some peanut butter and jellies for the kids and I'll probably just eat something that they have there and we'll hang out there and I will meet you at our next meal. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down before you fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall in the video. <laughs> Give that to mommy. Bring it to mommy. Hey. Hey. Give me that toothpaste. Give me that toothpaste. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> are you covered in soap too? Hey, girls. Be careful. What are you doing in the sink? Huh? Are you being trouble? And you got the toothpaste. All right. You wanna get down? You wanna get out? She says she love me, but she don't. Playing in my heart just like a repeat of a song. Tried to make it work, but I'm already gone. Told her it's hard to say it, but it's true. Hard to find the words that I'm supposed to say to you. It's time to pack your bags, girl, cause I'm moving on. Uh, I said it, I said it. She knew I that I meant it. I gave her all my money. She's already talking like she moving on. That's it. That is how it's going. Yeah, okay. you need a band aid for that one. Okay. You alright? Want me to go get you a band aid? I'm not crying, so I'm glad. Bro, you are tough. Uh, a girl, I promise you has to be gone. Gone, 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 gone. Okay, I promise you has to be gone.
But she bit my helping hand What could I do? Sorry doesn't work on me She's gone So damn gone to me You know I said it, I said it She know that I meant it I gave her all my money And now that she spent it She already talking like she moving on <laughs> I promise your ass will be gone, 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 gone Okay, I promise your ass will be gone, 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 gone Hey, hey, Mommy. because you left me with a broken heart Try to patch it up, but still so hard to start I promise you'll be gone, 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 gone Oh, 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 Shit, but here I am Cause you make me feel dumb like I am Sam Make me feel love is all a sham Man, we used to kick it like Van Damme now you We are back from the pool The twins are sleeping And the big girls are just chilling out Watching some TV And I'm about to start on dinner Because we are all pretty exhausted I'm gonna make a really easy dinner tonight I'm going to make um, a chickpea salad It's gonna be kind of like a mock version of a chicken salad where we will be using chickpeas instead of chicken. This is really a versatile recipe that you can use either on lettuce, like little lettuce wraps and turn it into little chickpea lettuce wraps or like open face sandwiches or on an actual salad um, or just with crackers, however you want to serve it. So we'll kind of like all do, all do our own little variation of that for dinner tonight. I'm just going to go ahead and get that done. And then that way I can just relax with the kids for until daddy gets home. So. Let me go get started on that. Here's all the ingredients you'll need for this chickpea salad. The first thing I'm going to do is drain off. I just used a 14 and a half ounce can of chickpeas and you're just going to drain off and reserve that liquid. We're going to use that liquid to thin out our mixture if we need it. And also you could use this for making aquafaba later. So just go ahead and um, drain this off. Then I just used a potato masher and I began to start mashing the chickpeas you're not gonna get them completely mashed i just like doing this method versus the blender or a food processor because it kind of breaks the skins up and it creates this like texture to me looks like shredded chicken so i like doing this method of just mashing the chickpeas with a potato masher now that our chickpeas are mostly mashed we can go ahead and start adding in the remaining ingredients today i did substitute mayonnaise for hummus this is kind of strange idea to some people, but it's actually really delicious. It cuts them out a significant amount of fat and it also increases the protein level. So I love doing this. Then I'll go ahead and season it up. I did add some fresh lemon, some Dijon mustard, some seasoned salt, pepper, and sweet relish. I really prefer using seasoned salt in this recipe because I feel like it kind of tastes almost like the outside skin of like a chicken nugget. So to me, it kind of intensifies the chicken chickenless taste that we're going for so anyway once i had finished all of that i noticed that my mixture was still a little bit dry so no worries we set, have the reserved liquid that came from the chickpeas so i'll just add a little bit of that until i get the consistency that i like this is all a preference here i'm not going to give you measurements because everybody likes things a little bit different now that my mix is pretty much done i'm going to go ahead and add in some extra veggies here I am adding in some fresh celery. I love saving the center, like the little baby pieces that are in the very center of the celery. I love using these for any of my chicken salads because they're a lot more tender. And I actually will chop up the leaves as well. And this really just, to me, it makes the salad prettier because you have the different colors, the different textures, but it's really delicious. And I, you know, I've seen people actually throw these away. That surprises me. Mm. Try the center of your celery and make sure you're eating the tops as well. Now I'm just gonna add in that diced celery and I'm also gonna add in a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. 
Sunflower seeds are so good for you. They add a good amount of fat content that's going to help us help us absorb the nutrients that are in this salad. And also they have a lot of vitamin E in them. So this is a great addition to any kind of chicken salads. If you like meal prepping, this is a great recipe to add to your meal prep list because chicken salad is so versatile. You can use it in so many different ways and it actually holds really well in the refrigerator. So today I'm going to show you two of the ways that I really like serving it up because I'm always trying to sneak in extra greens. I'm just going to serve my chicken salad right on top of a nice fresh salad. I'm going to lightly dress this salad with a nice ginger vinaigrette. So to make this dressing, all I'm going to use for my acidity is the juices that are in this pickled ginger jar. I added some of that vinegar and then I also added in some of the ginger itself. Then I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of toasted sesame oil. Make sure it's toasted sesame because that adds such a great depth of flavor. Regular sesame oil is not as strong. Then I'm going to put some salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I also added in some grapes, some apples, and I will also add in a little bit of sweet potato just for some extra carb and to keep me full a little bit longer. And this made for a delicious chicken salad. The other way I'm going to serve it up today is going to be kind of like an open-faced crouton chicken salad sandwichy thing. I don't know. Crouton chicken salad. Anyway, add lettuce because this is a great way to get in some extra greens. I'm always struggling to try to make sure I get enough greens as is I'm sure everybody else in the world. So if you're always looking for new ways, this is a great way to add in extra greens. I kind of just throw them on the base of everything and focus more on the flavor on top and you'll typically be able to eat them, get them down and enjoy them that way. So those were my toast. Let's sit down and have like a drawing board, like Casey Neistat style compare and contrast chickpea salad to a chicken salad. All right, so the way that I broke down these recipes so that they would be easier to compare is I actually just used the MyFitnessPal app. And the way I logged this is for the chickpea salad, I just used a 14, it was like 14 and a half ounce can of chickpeas. So then I just logged in 14 and a half ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're just looking at like biggest caloric values of what's being in each of these recipes. The first thing that we will look at is the calories. So the calories for the chickpea salad were at 614 and for the chicken 681. So obviously, even though this is a lean protein, this does have mayonnaise in it. So it is gonna be a little bit more calorically dense. I think if I would have used maybe the hummus in replacement for the mayonnaise in the chicken salad, I think we would have been kind of close for calorie wise. All right, the next thing we will look at is the protein. So for the chickpeas, it's 26 grams, and for the chicken, it's 56 grams. For carbs in the chickpea is 93 grams, and for the chicken is 21 grams. Protein to carbs are two things that people get so tripped up on because we are so used to this standard American diet where we are told, or even like in the fitness wor world where we're taught like for every pound you need an ounce of protein. This is such a myth. Like I was trying to follow that for so long it could never, very, very seldom could I actually meet those macros, especially on the protein end. I could never meet those macros sustainably and like feel good because to, for me to be eating, I'm 105 pounds, for me to be eating 105 pound, or 105 grams of protein every day is insane. Now I understand that that's not like the recommended daily intake, but if you actually start researching what the recommended protein is, you're gonna be shocked because it's not gonna be as high as you think. Poor carbs, like they get the worst rap and I think it's because most junk foods are bad carbs. If you think about the first foods that come to your mind as junk foods or like your cheap foods, more than likely they're gonna be processed carbs and I think that that is why carbs get such a bad rap. The carbs that make you fat are processed, like high in sugar and high in fat carbs. So this is something that's like trial and error. I highly recommend everybody 
keeping track of their macros to include their calories as well. The next thing that I wanted to look at was fiber. And this to me, there's two reasons why I think in my personal opinion that the chickpea salad over like way supersedes the chicken salad nutritionally. And the two things are one of them is one of those is fiber. So for the chickpea salad, there's 24 grams of fiber. And for the chicken salad, there's one gram of fiber. 90% of women in the United States are fiber deficient. I'm just going to Google real quick um, symptoms of fiber deficiency. Okay, symptoms of fiber deficiency are constipation or irregular bowel movements, weight gain, blood sugar fluctuations, diet related nausea and tiredness, high cholesterol, heart disease, diabetes, hemorrhoids, IBS. Next, we're going to go into fat. So chickpeas have 18 grams of fat, chicken have 43 grams of fat. Chickpeas for saturated fat have one gram, chicken five grams. So obviously you can see the chicken is higher in fat. And again, I think this could go a lot more in part to the fact that we did use mayonnaise. Using fat-free mayonnaise is even a worse option because to replace that fat content they're adding sugar or stabilizers whatever so you don't want to add fake stuff to try to get away from that fat you could just have chickpeas like if having if you're trying to lower the amount of fat in your diet this would be a better option for you. cholesterol in the chickpea salad we have zero milligrams of cholesterol and in the chicken salad 184 milligrams all right so what the chickpea salad does not have is any cholesterol um Let's talk about what the chickpea salad does have that the chicken salad doesn't. All right, vitamins A, C, B6, iron, magnesium, zinc, copper, manganese, vitamin E, selenium, folate. This is another huge reason why plant based is such a better alternative. I am not so much this huge anti meat activist, okay? It's not that I like want to ban all the meats. When you look at this and break it all down, like it's easy to look and see which one's healthier for you. If the chickpea salad has less calories, less fat, um, no cholesterol, more fiber, all of these vitamins and minerals that the chicken doesn't have, then what argument or what do you have to stand on with the chicken? That's where my train of thought goes to this whole style of eating is that it's not so much about removing the chicken and chicken's bad and this and that it's it's more about increasing the nutrients okay and there's you can't increase your nutrient <laughs> hey baby you can't just increase your nutrients and keep eating the same way because that potentially could be increasing your calories that wraps up our little compare and contrast and I just want you guys to know that the reason for this is not to demonize meat, not to put any kind of judgment on people who still do decide to eat meat. The purpose of this is just to show you how beneficial it can be to you eating plant-based because you might be fiber deficient and it might be causing another symptom in your body that you don't know or you might be needing more selenium or vitamin E or... So you might be missing some of these vitamins and minerals and not even realize how good you could feel or the progress that you could actually make switching some of just even if it's just switching some of your meat products or some of your dairy products just for a few options that you enjoy so in my mind and i'm you're gonna hear this on my channel a lot because this is something that really stuck with me when i was listening to a podcast the other day if you can change a few habits of a hundred people that makes a much bigger impact than completely changing the lifestyle of one person so the purpose of this channel is not, the purpose of all of this is not to get everybody to go plant-based or get everybody to go vegan. It's to just show you that you can enjoy eating more plants in, in like a sustainable way that you actually enjoy. And in doing that, I'm gonna break it down to you on some level, on a science level. And so these little compare and contrast are a great way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye guys, I hope you like us in the video. I hope you like a channel. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. We hope that these recipes inspired you to maybe have a meatless Monday or something. I don't know. But keep on watching because I'm going to be posting every Wednesday. I might slack off here shortly because this one, sit back, sit back. This child right here is going to be starting school.
school August the 20th and we are homeschooling. So if you are interested in seeing what that is all about, make sure you leave a comment below and maybe we will Thumbs up. Maybe we will show you Thumbs up. what kind of homeschooling or what that process is going to be. So stay tuned for that and yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up.